Hi, Ben. I didn't know. Oh. And then the cowering thief turned and said, Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Uh, no. No, he said neither of those things. Whose story is this, anyhow? Hold on. Hold on. You two know each other? Hi, Anne. Uh, an innocent friend of mine, who isn't Anna the Wanted Girl. Ah, y yes. Hello, mister. Who is a normal friend of mine and not a bear. You know, there is a young girl wanted in the area that looks just like you. Oh, like m me? B but I'm just a completely innocent girl. <laughs> An innocent, not guilty girl, you say? Say, you haven't seen a girl that actually is guilty then, have you? We can't find the lass anywhere. About the same age, has a bear fellow for a friend. Quite hard to miss, I'd imagine. Oh, yes, yes, I'd imagine so too. No, definitely no bear friends. <laughs> a friend for a bear. How strange. Strange indeed, but dangerous. So don't approach them if you do see them, you hear? Now, where was I? Ah, oh, darn it, I don't remember. Hmm. Aha, mm. uh -huh. I'm getting good at this. All that practice is really paying off now. Hey, so... Gil looks kind of like he needs another drink there. Gil will make sure I know when he needs another. Hmm. Oh, I see what you did there. Trying to play the old pipe switch joke, eh? Oh, who, me? No. All right, all right, you had your fun. Out with you so I can fix your mess now. Okay, so he's not falling for just switching the pipes for water. I think I'm on to something by switching the pipes, though. I should think this through more carefully. Mm. Aha! I'm getting... I'm sorry, Mr. Bartender, but desperate times call for desperate measures. <laughs> I'll just quickly put these back the way they were. Um, uh, I don't know how to break this to you, Gil, so I'm just gonna say it. There's no more beer left. <laughs> Yay! No more beer! Well, guess we'll just have to get going to the lake now, huh? <laughs> Alright, listen carefully. Only saying this once. Lake. Straight down that way. Murderous thieves live that way to the north, but don't go there. They're murderous, hence murderous thieves. Back the way we came to get back to the village. Questions? <laughs> well, just to be sure, I... Good. No questions, then. Bye. In case I forget how to get back, uh... Never mind. Guess I'll figure it out. Hopefully. There's a sloppy painting of a skull on the sign. I think it's meant to be a kind of... warning. Just looks like a great old tree stump. Not much to see with him sitting on it, really. Oh, I hate seeing people looking so sad. I hope I can help him somehow. Excuse me, sir? Oh. Hello there. You shouldn't be out here, you know. 
This is a dangerous place. So everyone keeps telling me. Are... are you okay? Why are you out here all alone and sad, mister? <sighs> I'm hunting the beast that's terrorizing the village. Can't you tell? This seems like a pretty nice place with nice things. Are you sure it's around here? Uh, of course I'm sure. I'm a master huntsman, don't you know? I know these woods like the back of my hand. I just... I'm uh, tracking his uh, uh, trail, his scent and such, or something. Okay, if you say so, mister. Can you tell me more about this beast? I don't know if I can, but maybe I can help somehow? Oh, that's very sweet of you, kid. But no, this is much too dangerous for you. But, but maybe if you just tell me... No means no, kid. <sighs> You're just like her, you know. You're just like my own girl. You kids are a stubborn lot. Well, best let you get back to, uh, whatever it is you're doing. Oh, yes. Focusing my, um, traditional tracking technique. Or something. You don't mind me asking, but is... is your father the one who disappeared? You... you know where my papa is? I do! I found him! Where? Where is he? Please tell me. He's... well... he's in the woods still. But he's okay, isn't he? He's not hurt, right? No, no, he's fine. He's perfectly okay. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, that's such a relief. Thank you, uh... I'm Anna. And I'm glad I could help. You really did. I was sure he was lost for good this time. Silly, silly Papa. The name's Ashley, by the way. Pleased to meet you. Lost? But he's a master huntsman. I thought he knew the woods like the back of his hand. He, uh, likes to stretch the truth just a little. Don't tell anyone this. Especially not my Papa, but... He's not really a master hunter at all. It's that silly beast, the one that's been stealing all the food. He can't let it go. He won't. He promised everyone in the village he would help them. As long as that beast remains in the woods, so will Papa. Can you tell me more about this beast? It's... stealing food? Yep, the village is fruit. We're a fruitless village. That... It doesn't sound very beast-like at all. But it's eating all of it. The vendor who usually collects the fruit, he's terrified of it. A ferocious wild creature, he says. Gnashing teeth and long, razor-sharp claws. Oh my, that does sound rather beastly. Uh-huh, and that's what my poor papa is out there trying to find. How does your father normally find his way out of the woods, then? Usually, I just get Gil from the tavern to help me find him. Then I just growl and make noises so he chases me and I lead him back here. But Ashley, he... he's hunting the beast. Oh, uh, hmm, well, good thing he's a terrible huntsman. Anyway, he caught on to me. He figured it out, so now I guess it's the beast or nothing. I'll let you get back to work, Ashley. Be careful out there, okay? If that beast is out there... Evening once again, dear girl. And to what do I owe this pleasure? This beast of the woods the villagers speak of. This fruit-stealing beast. Hmm? It's you, isn't it, Reynard? And what, pray tell, brings you to such a conclusion? Well, uh, you like fruit, and you are kind of like a beast. I mean, the descriptions are completely wrong, really. Hey! You haven't got any razor claws or teeth. 
And you're quite cute and small and fluffy. All right. Yes, yes, enough. It's true. I lack beastly qualities. But you are quite right. The beast is the title I have been given, and one I must abide by. So you like being a beast, then? But they're scared of you, Reynard. Terrified. Precisely. Adapt to survive. And adapt I have. Once I thought to find assistance in picking fruit, cautiously leading villagers through the woods. But then they take all and share none. What option do I have but to adapt once again? But... They say that you've been taking all the fruit, Reynard. That's not fair. My dear, men have a predictable tendency to exaggerate. Oh, I see. I'm sorry for judging, Reynard. You really are a very clever little guy, you know that? You flatter, my dear. But you and I, we are not so very different in that regard. Reynard, I think I know a way you can help me. You said before that you could lead villagers to the fruit, right? And the blacksmith, well, he needs to be led home, right? I'm not sure I'm particularly comfortable with the direction this is going. Oh, please, Reynard. That poor blacksmith. He's only trying to help the village. My dear, I appreciate your sentiments, but you're asking me to give up my orchestrated food supply. Well, you... you can come back to my farm. We have plenty of food to share there, but, well, you know, if you think there's someone else who's clever enough to escape one little huntsman, then... All right, all right, I concede you win. I care not for acquiescing on terms of pride, but I respect your tactics. Oh, thank you, Reynard. I really appreciate it. Uh, of course, my dear. And with that, I suppose I might as well be off. safe and sound. <laughs> How about that? That's great news, Ashley. We're already right back on track with work, if there's anything you need. I'll let you get back to work, Ashley. 